Hello everyone, and welcome to part 8 of How to Make Pong in Unity. So last time we created this title screen with a uh, play button, and with play and quit. However, they don't do anything now, and for this episode we are going to set them up. In order to do that, we need to go into our menu controller script and add using Unity Engine dot scene management. Using this code, we can access a function called scene manager dot load level and then a number of level that is represented through our build settings. I made a small error. It's not load level, it's load scene. Yeah, so what this number represents is the scene number in our build setting. So right now scene 1 represents our play area. And what we want this to do is load scene 1 when we play our game. The way we got to do this is by putting our load scene in a public void function. I'm going to name it play game because that just sounds logical. And I'm going to put in scene manager dot load scene. Now in our editor view you click the button and there's an on click function parameter and we want to add one. So this is looking for a certain object that can be something in the scene or hierarchy or one of your assets. For now we want to go access our canvas object and specifically the menu controller script that's access to it and have this activate the play game function. Doing so will allow it me to click play and enter the game scene. We can also do something very similar with our quit button, only instead we would want a public void named quit game. And with this one, we want to say application.quit. However, there is something important you need to know about application.quit. This will not work when you're using the in-editor play mode, or if you have created a web browser. So in your build settings, there's one option to export to a web player. Now this will be removed in future versions of Unity, so you won't have to worry about it. But yeah, only the standalone Unity file will allow you to quit the application, and that's because it could be in a windowed view and you wouldn't have a way to quit otherwise. Alright, so we can get rid of this because we don't need start and update. And now... Did I already add it to the quit? Yeah, let's add our canvas object to our quit button. That way when we go publish the game, we will have a way to easily quit. And with that, our start menu is done. The next thing we need to do is create a menu for when a certain player wins the game. So in our count score script, we just want to say, have an if statement, load in a scene when one of the players has reached a certain score. Once again, we want to be using unity engine dot scene management so we can load the appropriate scene. And here, we want to say if bat1 score is greater than or equal to, I want to put it at 7 because I feel like that's a long enough game, but it won't be 
so long that they just want to quit before it's completely over. And then if bat2 score is greater than or equal to 7. And in here, we're going to load different scenes. So for now, I'm just going to use scene manager .load scene, and we'll put in the correct number once we build the scene for each player winning. So the way we're going to build scenes for winning is by using the basically the same thing as this. We can copy and paste the canvas into a new scene. So this scene, I'm going to name it Player 1 Wins. And I'm going to paste in the canvas. However, I have to make one tweak because the camera it's looking for is the one in the old scene. And I need to make sure that it knows that this is the camera it wants to be centered over. I also want to change the color of the camera to black. I want to change the name of this play button to read play again. And last, I want to change it so the title instead reads player one wins. I also want to lower the size of the font, maybe 130. Yeah, that's a good size. And raise it up so it's closer to the top. That's we at 40. Just going to see what it looks like in the game view. Yeah, I like that. Also, we can reuse the menu controller script. So I didn't change anything. If I were to click play again, it enters the same scene, which is perfect. So now I'm just going to create the same exact scene with for when player two wins. And I'll do that off camera. So created the player two wins and the player one wins. Also, it is very important for you to bring in the event system. Otherwise, the buttons won't work. Now, on that note, we are done with the core game. We have our main menu. We have our game scene. And we have menus for when different players win. The final step is going to be exporting our project. Wait a minute. Oh. But first we need to add our player 1 wins and player 2 wins. And then go into our count score and just make sure that it goes into the appropriate scenes or the appropriate scenes are loaded when a certain score for each player is reached. So yeah, now that we have all of our menus and we have our core game working, we are ready to build our game and export it as a standalone executable Unity file. So in the next episode, we are going to do publishing. And we'll just export our game and make sure it runs how we want it to. And make sure that the menus and game works as intended. So stay tuned, and this project is almost done. Just one more video.